ahead and pause the video and reread the question if you haven't done so yet. We are basically asked in this question to find two numbers whose sum is 1000 and whose product is as large as possible. The phrase large as possible really refers to the maximum value. And in order to find a maximum value, we're basically completing what is known as an optimization problem. And in optimization problems, you're going to need two equations usually. You need what is called a constraint equation, and then also what is called an objective equation. Let's go ahead and try to find the constraint equation first. And that's going to come from the opening words of the sentence, which tells us that the sum of the first number and four times the second number is a thousand. So we can proceed as follows. We can let x equal the first number. And then of course y would equal the second number. And all we have to do is translate what we underlined in red into an equation. So we'll try to do that right now. It says the sum of the first number and four times the second number, so that would be four times y, is equal to a thousand. And that's it, actually. We refer to this as the constraint equation because the sum of these two numbers is constrained to be 1,000. It can't be anything different than that. So we'll next need to find the objective equation, and that's going to come from the second half of the sentence. The second half of the sentence tells us that the product, which we can call p, the product of these two numbers has to be as large as possible. So the product can be written simply as x multiplied by y. And it's really the product that we are seeking to maximize. The difficulty of this equation is that it is expressed in terms of two variables. So what we're going to do is take the constraint equation and solve it for one of the variables, substituting it into our objective equation, which will actually create an equation of just one variable. It sounds perhaps a bit complicated, but let's refer back to the constraint equation and we'll go ahead and solve this for x since that would be easiest to do by subtracting 4y. Now that we have this expression for x, we can go ahead and substitute that into our objective equation. And then what we would want to do next is simplify this equation by distributing the y into the parentheses, which leaves us with an equation with just one variable in it, which is going to be much easier to deal with. So now that we have the simplified objective equation, we can seek to maximize it. Now, of course, to find a maximum value of a function, we're going to have to take the first derivative and then set it equal to zero. That's a very important principle. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll set the objective equation equal, excuse me, we're going to have to actually compute the first derivative, of course, so we can signify that by p prime. So the derivative of 1,000y would be 1,000. The derivative of 4y squared would be 8y. Now we can go ahead and set this equal to 0. I was getting a little bit ahead of myself there. And we're going to solve this for the variable y. Subtracting 1,000 from both sides yields the following result, and then we can divide both sides by negative 8. Now, strictly speaking, we don't yet know that this value of y actually maximizes the function. So to confirm that this yields a maximum value, we can use what is called the second derivative test. So to use that test, we can proceed to calculate the second derivative of the p function. Derivative of 1,000 would be 0, and the derivative of negative 8y would equal negative 8. And it turns out that as long as the second derivative is negative, at a particular value, then the function is indeed confirmed to be a maximum according to the second derivative test. So we do have the correct value for y, which maximizes the p function. And now we can go back and solve for x. Recall from a previous result that x was equal to 1,000 minus 4 times y. So now that we have our y value, we can simply substitute it into this equation to solve for x. And there we have the value of x. So when x equals 500 and y equals 125, the sum will equal 1000 and the product will be as large as possible. 
Note that the sum refers not to x plus y, but x plus 4y, which would equal 1,000.